Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the effect of the water symmetry issue on the concrete strength. So in this lecture we are going to discuss the effect of the water symmetry issue on the concrete strength. The water symmetry issue has inverse relation with the concrete strength. With the concrete strength. Concrete strength. It means if the water symmetry issue is more used in a concrete mix is more than we have less concrete strength. Less concrete strength. Because it is inverse relation. If we more use this ratio, the water to symmetry ratio, the less will be the concrete strength. If we use the less water symmetry ratio, we have more concrete strength. So this is very important ratio while defining the concrete strength so this was the relation between the water symmetry ratio to the concrete strength the general ratio of the water symmetry ratio water symmetry ratio is generally taken in many project construction project range having range of uh, from 0 0.4 to 0 0.6 this is the general range of the water symmetry ratio for many construction projects. But this ratio is not fixed. It depends on your project, whether you want a high strength concrete. So what you will do, you will, you will decrease this water symmetry ratio. If you, decrease, if you decrease the water symmetry ratio, your concrete strength will be more. So what we do, if we need more concrete strength, so we take the water symmetry ratio to 0 0.3. So we will get the high strength concrete now but there are some problem related with the increasing and decreasing the water symmetry ratio. I will discuss these problems which are with the water symmetry ratio. If, the, if we are increasing, if we are decreasing the water symmetry ratio, if we are decreasing the water symmetry ratio, decreasing, then what happens? The concrete workability is decreasing. Concrete, there is a problem of concrete workability. That means the concrete is not now a workable mix and is not used properly in the site. So this is a problem if we are going to decrease the water symmetry ratio from a limit. If we are going to, this is a general range of water symmetry ratio 0.6 and if you are going to in increase the water symmetry ratio from 0.6 to 0.7 for example if we are increasing the water symmetry ratio then what happens then there is a problem of the concrete, st concrete strength there is a low concrete strength and there is a problem of segregation 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 it means that there is a problem of segregation it means now the concrete mix will have the coarser aggregate will fall down during the site execution of the concrete so it will create the problem of segregation and it will have low strength concrete uh, member so it will be not enough to resist the load in the field so these are the issues that how it affects the by increasing or by decreasing the water symmetry issue and the general range is 0 0.4 to 0.6 now, if the water symmetry ratio is decreasing, the concrete workability is going to decrease and they are not going to workable concrete mix. But what we use, we use super plasticizer. Super plasticizer. It is a mixture, super plasticizers, for to increase the workability. And now we have increased the workability and also we have achieved the strength by decreasing the water symmetry ratio. So this admixture can help us out by decreasing the water symmetry ratio and achieving the workability also. While similar here, the water symmetry ratio is increasing, so it causes segregation and it causes more water to flow in the in the concrete mix. So we also add some admixtures here. Depending on the type of admixture, we add admixtures to uh, to increase the strength to reduce the segregation and also to maintain the strength of the concrete. So this is to a very important role of water symmetry in a concrete mix and it should be it should be well defined it should be well designed to know about the concrete strength and to know about the water symmetry issue because it is a very 
effect on the concrete strength by decreasing and by increasing. So now I will show it by a graph. Considering the graph, this is the graph. I'm going to draw the water symmetry ratio here on the x-axis and the strength of the concrete after 28 days and PSI after 28 days of the concrete. So these are the 0, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and a 0 0.7 and here is a 1000 PSI, 1K, 1K PSI, a 2K PSI, 3K PSI, 4K PSI, 5K PSI is the strength of the concrete and the unit of KSI. I will remove this PSI. So, the water symmetry should be less at high, to high strength, like this, at a high strength here. This point at a high strength. Now, if, decrease, if increasing the water symmetry issue, it will decrease in the strength. If increasing the water symmetry issue, it will going to decrease the strength like this way if I am increasing more the strength more the water symmetry issue by increasing the more the water symmetry issue the concrete strength will be more or less so it follows the path like this one this is the path of the effect of the water symmetry issue on the concrete strength that with the increasing the water symmetry in this direction the concrete strength is going to fall in this direction so we should be careful while knowing and defining the water symmetry for a specific project and it should be very really carefully designed this was all about the effect of water symmetry on concrete strength and i will upload more videos related to the civil engineering topic so don't forget to subscribe our channel for more civil engineering videos Thank you for watching.